Deputy Executive Director of the Ministry of Works and Transport, Jonas Shilongo, says they are working with relevant authorities to enforce quarantines as well as with neighboring countries. Balfour's Bay Corridor Group Chief Executive Officer Hippie Shivikwa says it is business as usual at the Balfour's Bay port. However, they are enforcing regulations which prohibit exchange of people among vessel crews and port personnel. Among the challenges, they have been experiencing teething problems at the border. Uh, we must be honest that uh, uh, this caught everybody off guard. Um, we have come into a situation where there is no textbook in terms of uh, how to uh, go, go about with COVID, uh, but um, the delays are there. Uh, we have been experiencing tremendous delays. Uh, initially, when the measures came into force, uh, when most of our neighboring, our, ourselves and the, most of the neighboring countries also put in measures in terms of, um, of, um, of preventing uh, the transmission, Shivikwa further says the port is prioritizing the quick flow of perishables. Transkalahari Corridor official Leslie Mpofu says trade flows among Namibia, Botswana and South Africa continues with little disruptions. He says this has been made possible by the continuous changing of regulations with the aim of achieving uninterrupted flow of goods. The CEO of the group also admits that there has been an improvement in terms of the movement of goods. At least we are experiencing f uh, free flow of trade, but not to the extent where we want this trade to happen. Uh, there are delays that are happening because um, of the protocols that have been set, uh, basically at the various entry points where they are delayed in terms of the screening uh, and the testing processes. Despite this, he says things are picking up and the company ought to return to normality in the next couple of weeks.